Let's read this engine. Rolls Royce Merlin. For the Packard produced licensed version, see Packard V1650 Merlin. The Rolls Royce Merlin is a British liquid cooled V12 piston aero engine of 27 litre, 1650 cu in capacity. Rolls Royce designed the engine and first ran it in 1933 as a private venture. Initially known as the PV12, it was later called Merlin following the company convention of naming its four stroke piston aero engines after birds of prey. The engine benefited from the racing experiences of precursor engines in the 1930s. After several modifications, the first production variants of the PV-12 were completed in 1936. The first operational aircraft to enter service using the Merlin Rolls-Royce Merlin For the Packard produced licensed version, see Packard V1650 Merlin the Rolls-Royce Merlin is a British liquid-cooled V12 piston aero engine of 27 litre, 1650 cu in capacity. Rolls-Royce designed the engine and first ran it in 1933 as a private venture. Initially known as the PV12, it was later called Merlin following the company convention of naming its four-stroke piston aero engines after birds of prey. The engine benefited from the racing experiences of precursor engines in the 1930s. After several modifications, the first production variants of the PV-12 were completed in 1936. The first operational aircraft to enter service using the Merlin were the Ferry Battle, Hawker Hurricane and Supermarine Spitfire. The Merlin remains most closely associated with the Spitfire and Hurricane, although the majority of the production run was for the four-engine Avro Lancaster heavy bomber. The Merlin continued to benefit from a series of rapidly applied developments, derived from experiences in use since 1936. These markedly improved the engine's performance and durability. Starting at 1000 horsepower, 750 kilowatts for the first production models most late war versions produced just under 1800 horsepower 1300 kilowatts and the very latest version is used in the de Havilland Hornet over 2000 horsepower 1500 kilowatts one of the most successful aircraft engines of the World War II era some 50 versions of the Merlin were built by Rolls-Royce in Derby, Crewe and Glasgow, as well as by Ford of Britain at their Trafford Park factory, near Manchester. A derated version was also the basis of the Rolls-Royce forward slash rover meteor tank engine. Post-war, the Merlin was largely superseded by the Rolls-Royce Griffin for military use with most Merlin variants being designed and built for airliners and military transport aircraft. The Packard V1650 was a version of the Merlin built in the United States. Production ceased in 1950 after a total of almost 150,000 engines had been delivered. Merlin engines remain in Royal Air Force service today with the Battle of Britain Memorial Flight and power many restored aircraft in private ownership worldwide. Design and Development, Edit Origin, Edit In the early 1930s, Rolls-Royce started planning its future aero engine development program and realized there was a need for an engine larger than their 21-liter, 1,296 cu in, Kestrel which was being used with great success in a number of 1930s aircraft. Consequently, work was started on a new 1,100 HP, 820 kilowatts, class design known as the PV-12, with PV standing for private venture, 12-cylinder, as the company received no government funding for work on the project. 
The PV-12 was first run on the 15th of October, 1933 and first flew in a Hawker Hart biplane, serial number K-3036, on the 21st of February, 1935. The engine was originally designed to use the evaporative cooling system then in vogue. This proved unreliable and when ethylene glycol from the US became available, the engine was adapted to use a conventional liquid cooling system. The heart was subsequently delivered to Rolls-Royce where, as a Merlin test, it completed over 100 hours of flying with the Merlin C&D engines. In 1935, the Air Ministry issued a specification, F-10 forward slash 35, for new fighter aircraft with a minimum airspeed of 310 miles per hour. 500 kilometers per hour. Fortunately, two designs had been developed, the Supermarine Spitfire and the Hawker Hurricane, the latter designed in response to another specification, F-36 forward slash 34. Both were designed around the PV-12 instead of the Kestrel, and were the only contemporary British fighters to have been so developed. Production contracts for both aircraft were placed in 1936, and development of the PV-12 was given top priority as well as government funding. Following the company convention of naming its piston aero engines after birds of prey, Rolls-Royce named the engine the Merlin after a small, northern hemisphere falcon, Falco columbarius. Two more Rolls-Royce engines developed just prior to the war were added to the company's range. The 885 HP, 660 kilowatts, Rolls-Royce Peregrine was an updated, supercharged development of their V12 Kestrel design, while the 1700 HP, 1300 kilowatts, 42 liter, 2560 CU in, Rolls-Royce Vulture used four Kestrel-sized cylinder blocks fitted to a single crankcase and driving a common crankshaft, forming an X-24 layout. This was to be used in larger aircraft such as the Avro Manchester. Although the Peregrine appeared to be a satisfactory design, it was never allowed to mature since Rolls-Royce's priority was refining the Merlin. As a result, the Peregrine saw use in only two aircraft, the Westland Whirlwind Fighter and one of the Gloucester F.9 forward slash 37 prototypes. The Vulture was fitted to the Avro Manchester bomber, but proved unreliable in service and the planned fighter using it the Hawker Tornado was cancelled as a result. With the Merlin itself soon pushing into the 1,500 HP, 1,100 kilowatts, range, the Peregrine and Vulture were both cancelled in 1943, and by mid-1943 the Merlin was supplemented in service by the larger Griffin. The Griffin incorporated several design improvements and ultimately superseded the Merlin. Development, Edit Initially the new engine was plagued with problems such as failure of the accessory gear trains and coolant jackets. Several different construction methods were tried before the basic design of the Merlin was set. Early production Merlins were unreliable, common problems were cylinder head cracking, coolant leaks, and excessive wear to the camshafts and crankshaft main bearings. Early engines, edit. The prototype, developmental, and early production engine types were the 1 PV-12 The initial design using an evaporative cooling system 2 built, passed bench type testing in July, 1934, generating 740 HP, 550 kilowatts, at 12,000 foot, 3,700 m, equivalent first flown the 21st of February, 1935. 1 Merlin B. 2 built, ethylene glycol liquid cooling system introduced. Ramp cylinder heads, inlet valves were at a 45 degree angle to the cylinder. 
passed type test in February 1935, generating 950 HP, 710 kilowatts, at 11,000 foot, 3,400 m, equivalent. 1 Merlin C. Development of Merlin B. Crankcase and cylinder blocks became three separate castings with bolt-on cylinder heads. First flight in Hawker Horsley the 21st of December, 1935, 950 HP, 710 kilowatts, at 11,000 foot, 3,400 m. 1 Merlin E. Similar to C with minor design changes. Past 50-hour civil test in December, 1935 generating a constant 955 HP, 712 kilowatts, and a maximum rating of 1045 HP, 779 kilowatts. Failed military 100-hour test in March, 1936. Powered the Supermarine Spitfire prototype. 1 Merlin F. Merlin I. Similar to C and D. First flight in Horsley the 16th of July, 1936. This became the first production engine, and was designated as the Merlin I. The Merlin continued with the ramp head, but this was not a success and only 172 were made. The Ferry Battle I was the first production aircraft to be powered by the Merlin I and first flew on the 10th of March, 1936. One Merlin G, Merlin II. Replaced ramp cylinder heads with parallel pattern heads, valve stems parallel to the cylinder bore axis, scaled up from the Kestrel engine. 400 hour flight endurance tests carried out at Ray July, 1937. Acceptance test the 22nd of September, 1937. It was first widely delivered as the 1030 HP, 770 kilowatts, Merlin II in 1938, and production was quickly stepped up for Ferry Battle II. 1 Merlin III. Merlin II with standardized de Havilland forward slash rottles back propeller shaft, and dual access of a drive. 1,030 HP, 770 kilowatts, at 3,000 RPM at 10,250 feet, 3,120 M, at plus 6.5 pound boost. Formed basis for the Rolls-Royce forward slash Rover Meteor tank engine. One racing Merlin. Racing engine for 1937 forward slash 38 speed Spitfire world speed record attempt. Merlin 3 with strengthened pistons, connecting rods, and gudgeon pins, running on increased octane fuel. Developed 2160 HP, 1610 kilowatts, at 3200 RPM and plus 27 pound boost. A power forward slash weight ratio of 0.621 pound per horsepower. Completed 15 hour endurance run at 1800 HP, 1300 kilowatts, 3200 RPM at plus 22 pound boost. 1 Merlin 4. Merlin with pressure water cooling for Armstrong Whitworth Whitley 4. 1 Merlin V. Merlin 4 Ferry Battle V. 1 Merlin 8. Medium supercharged Merlin developed for Ferry 4 Mai, rated 1010 HP, 750 kilowatts, at 2850 RPM at 6750 feet, 2060 M, 1080 HP, 810 kilowatts at 3000 RPM for takeoff using 100 octane fuel. 1 Merlin X First Merlin with 2-speed supercharger, 1145 HP, 854 kilowatts, in low gear at 5250 feet, 1600 M, 1010 HP, 750 kilowatts, 
in high gear at 17,750 feet, 5,410 m. First of Rolls-Royce unitized power plant installation designs for this engine in 1937 and used in Handley Page Halifax I, Vickers Wellington II, and Armstrong Whitworth Whitley V and 7. 1 Merlin 12. Merlin fitted with 0.4771 reduction gear installed in some Spitfire IIS with 3 blade throttle constant speed propeller. Rated at 1,150 HP, 860 kilowatts, at 3,000 RPM at 14,000 feet, 4,300 M. 1 Merlin XX. Merlin X with Stanley Hooker redesigned supercharger incorporating redesigned inlet and improved guide vanes on impeller with revised blower gear ratios. 8 colon 1514 low gear, 94914 high gear. New larger Su twin choke up draft carburetor. Engine interchangeable with Merlin X rated at 1240 HP, 920 kilowatts, at 2850 RPM in low gear at 10,000 feet, 3000 M, and plus 9 pound boost. 1,175 HP, 876 kilowatts, at 2,850 RPM in high gear at 17,500 feet, 5,300 M, at plus 9 pound boost. Revised Rolls-Royce unitized power plant installation design. Engine used in Bristol Bowfighter 2, Bolton Core Defiant 2. Handley Page Halifax 2 and V, Hawker Hurricane 2 and 4, and Avro Lancaster I and 3. First Merlin produced by Packard Motor Car Company as V1650-1 and designated by Rolls-Royce as Merlin 28. Production Engines, Edit. The Merlin 2 and 3 series were the first main production versions of the engine. The Merlin 3 was the first version to incorporate a universal propeller shaft, allowing either de Havilland or Rottel manufactured propellers to be used. The first major version to incorporate changes brought about through experience in operational service was the XX, which was designed to run on 100 octane fuel. This fuel allowed higher manifold pressures which were achieved by increasing the boost from the centrifugal supercharger. The Merlin XX also utilized the two-speed superchargers designed by Rolls-Royce, resulting in increased power at higher altitudes than previous versions. Another improvement, introduced with the Merlin X, was the use of a 70% 30% water glycol coolant mix rather than the 100% glycol of the earlier versions. This substantially improved engine life and reliability, removed the fire hazard of the flammable ethylene glycol, and reduced the oil leaks that had been a problem with the early Merlin I, II and III series. The process of improvement continued, with later versions running on higher octane ratings, delivering more power. Fundamental design changes were also made to all key components again increasing the engine's life and reliability. By the end of the war the little engine was delivering over 1,600 HP, 1,200 kilowatts, in common versions, and as much as 2,030 HP, 1,510 kilowatts, in the Merlin 130 forward slash 131 version specifically designed for the de Havilland Hornet. Ultimately, during tests conducted by Rolls-Royce at Derby, an RM.17.SM, the high-altitude version of the Merlin 100 series, achieved 2,640 HP, 1,970 kilowatts, at 36 pound boost, 103 HG, on 150 octane fuel with water injection. With the end of the war, work on improving Merlin power output was halted and the development effort was concentrated on civil derivatives of the Merlin. Development of what became the Transport Merlin, TML, 
commenced with the Merlin 102, the first Merlin to complete the new civil type test requirements, and was aimed at improving reliability and service overhaul periods for airline operators using airliner and transport aircraft such as the Avro Lancastrian, Avro York, Merlin 500 series, Avro Tudor 2 and 4, Merlin 621, Tudor IVB and V, Merlin 623, TCA Canada North Star, Merlin 724, and Bork Argonaut, Merlin 724IC. By 1951 the time between overhauls, TBO, was typically 650-800 hours depending on use. By then single-stage engines had accumulated 2,615,000 engine hours in civil operation, and two-stage engines 1,169,000. In addition, an exhaust system to reduce noise levels to below those from ejector exhausts was devised for the North Star forward slash Argonaut. This crossover system took the exhaust flow from the inboard bank of cylinders up and over the engine before discharging the exhaust stream on the outboard side of the UPP nacelle. As a result, sound levels were reduced by between 5 and 8 decibels. The modified exhaust also conferred an increase in horsepower over the unmodified system of 38 HP, 28 kilowatts resulting in a 5-knot improvement in true air speed. Still air range of the aircraft was also improved by around 4%. The modified engine was designated the TMO and the modified exhaust system was supplied as kit that could be installed on existing engines either by the operator or by Rolls-Royce. Power ratings for the Civil Merlin 600, 620, and 621 series was 1,160 HP, 870 kilowatts, continuous cruising at 23,500 feet, 7,200 m, and 1,725 HP, 1,286 kilowatts, for takeoff. Merlin 622626 were rated at 1,420 HP, 1,060 kilowatts, continuous cruising at 18,700 feet, 5,700 m, and 1,760 HP, 1,310 kilowatts, for takeoff. Engines were available with single stage, two speed supercharging. 500 series, 2 stage, 2 speed supercharging, 600 series, and with full intercooling, or with half intercooling forward slash charge heating, charge heating being employed for cold area use such as in Canada. Civil Merlin engines in airline service flew 7,818,000 air miles in 1946. 17,455,000 in 1947, and 24,850,000 miles in 1948. Basic Component Overview, Merlin 61, Edit. From James. Cylinders. 12 cylinders consisting of high carbon steel liners set in two. Two-piece cylinder blocks of cast R50 aluminium alloy having separate heads and skirts. Wet liners, i.e. coolant in direct contact with external face of liners. Cylinder heads fitted with cast iron inlet valve guides, phosphor bronze exhaust valve guides, and renewable silchrome steel alloy valve seats. Two diametrically opposed spark plugs protrude into each combustion chamber. Pistons. Machined from R59 alloy forgings. Fully floating hollow gudgeon pins of hardened nickel chrome steel. Three compression and one oil control ring above the gudgeon pin, and one oil control ring below. Connecting rods. H section machined nickel steel forgings, each pair consisting of a plane and a forked rod. The forked rod carries a nickel steel bearing block which accommodates steel-backed lead bronze alloy bearing shells. The small end of each rod houses a floating phosphor bronze bush. 
crankshaft. One piece, machined from a nitrogen hardened nickel chrome molybdenum steel forging. Statically and dynamically balanced. Seven main bearings and six throws. Crankcase. Two aluminium alloy castings joined together on the horizontal center line. The upper portion bears the wheel case, supercharger and accessories, and carries the cylinder blocks, crankshaft main bearings, split mild steel shells lined with lead bronze alloy, and part of the housing for the air screw reduction gear. The lower half forms an oil sump and carries the oil pumps and filters. Wheel case. Aluminium casting fitted to rear of crankcase. Houses drives to the camshafts, magnetos, coolant and oil pumps, supercharger, hand and electric starters, and the electric generator. Valve gear. Two inlet and two exhaust poppet valves of K.E.965 steel per cylinder. Both the inlet and exhaust valves have hardened stellated ends while the exhaust valves also have sodium-cooled stems, and heads protected with a bright ray, nickel-chromium, coating. Each valve is kept closed by a pair of concentric coil springs. A single, seven-bearing camshaft, located on the top of each cylinder head operates 24 individual steel rockers, 12 pivoting from a rocker shaft on the inner, intake side of the head to actuate the exhaust valves the others pivoting from a shaft on the exhaust side of the head to actuate the inlet valves. Technical Improvements, Edit Most of the Merlin's technical improvements resulted from more efficient superchargers, designed by Stanley Hooker, and the introduction of aviation fuel with increased octane ratings. Numerous detail changes were made internally and externally to the engine to withstand increased power ratings and to incorporate advances in engineering practices. Ejector Exhausts, Edit The Merlin consumed an enormous volume of air at full power, equivalent to the volume of a single decker bus per minute, and with the exhaust gases exiting at 1,300 miles per hour. 2,100 km per hour, it was realized that useful thrust could be gained simply by angling the gases backwards instead of venting sideways. During tests, 70 pounds force, 310 N, 32 kgf, thrust at 300 miles per hour, 480 km per hour, or roughly 70 HP, 52 kilowatts, was obtained which increased the level maximum speed of the Spitfire by 10 miles per hour, 16 kilometers per hour, to 360 miles per hour, 580 kilometers per hour. The first versions of the ejector exhausts featured round outlets, while subsequent versions of the system used fishtail style outlets, which marginally increased thrust and reduced exhaust glare for night flying. In September 1937 the Spitfire prototype, K5054, was fitted with ejector type exhausts. Later marks of the Spitfire used a variation of this exhaust system fitted with forward-facing intake ducts to distribute hot air out to the wing-mounted guns to prevent freezing and stoppages at high altitudes, replacing an earlier system that used heated air from the engine coolant radiator. The latter system had become ineffective due to improvements to the Merlin itself which allowed higher operating altitudes where air temperatures are lower. Ejector exhausts were also fitted to other Merlin-powered aircraft. Supercharger, Edit Central to the success of the Merlin was the supercharger. A.C. Lovesy, an engineer who was a key figure in the design of the Merlin, delivered a lecture on the development of the Merlin in 1946. In this extract he explained the importance of the supercharger. The impression still prevails that the static capacity known as the swept volume is the basis of comparison of the possible power output for different types of engine.
but this is not the case because the output of the engine depends solely on the mass of air it can be made to consume efficiently, and in this respect the supercharger plays the most important role. The engine has to be capable of dealing with the greater mass flows with respect to cooling, freedom from detonation and capable of withstanding high gas and inertia loads. During the course of research and development on superchargers it became apparent to us that any further increase in the altitude performance of the Merlin engine necessitated the employment of a two-stage supercharger. As the Merlin evolved so too did the supercharger, the latter fitting into three broad categories. One single stage, 